Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Monday. So it's meal prep day and we are all about protein. All three of these recipes, breakfast, lunch and a dessert, are packed with protein. So you need these in your life. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I actually do a meal prep every single Monday. All of today's recipes and all of my recipes are on my recipe website that is linked at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, highly recommend. I just shared a video yesterday about my DEXA body scan and changes coming to my channel. I'll link that video for you as well, but I highly encourage you to have your macros and calories done. And then I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So let me flip you around and let's get started on this high protein meal prep. Before we get started with meal prep, I ordered a new mixing bowl set off of Amazon, and this just isn't your normal mixing bowl set. This bowl set is incredible. It would make an amazing, amazing Christmas gift, super affordable. It comes with bowls, lids, and utensils, and that is the Lux Ear Bowl Set. So you're actually going to get six different sizes of bowls, lids included, and serving ware. This would make the perfect salad bowl for all of the Christmas and holiday season, and then it has a lid and the serving utensil, so it'd be great for potlucks or get-togethers. This is the Lux Ear Mixing Bowls with Lid Set. It's actually 14 pieces in total. There's six different sizes of bowls. All of the bowls have lids, and then like I said, there is utensils especially that are perfect for serving up salad. The spoons are large size spoons, perfect for handling all of your mixing needs during cooking. And then they cleverly transform into a practical pair of tongs, offering you the versatility and functionality, especially when serving a salad or meal. They're safe and durable. They're actually made of food grade BPA free material, non-toxic and odorless. Really nice quality, heavy, thick, durable walls, and they're very versatile. Mix salads, double as convenient containers for food prep, and they make perfect perfect serving containers. I love the space saving design of these that all the bowls stack together. It just makes it really easy for storage and then you can stack the lids as well. They're bigger, they're deeper than most other bowls. I'm going to be loving these for meal prep and then again for serving. And then for storage of everything from fruits, vegetables, grains, you name it, you can store it in the Luxier bowls. Again, they're BPA free, freezer safe, microwavable safe, and dishwasher safe and all six bowls come with matching lids. Like I said, this is the perfect gift for yourself. Like me, if you're a kitchen lover, I'm always in need of bowls and I like that these are plastic and that they're dishwasher safe. That's very important to me. And again, this would make an amazing, amazing gift. So there is a really good deal going on right now. So I will make sure that I link the Luxier bowls down below for you with that special discount. For breakfast this week, I'm making protein chia pudding. I have been craving chia pudding since I was in Hawaii and in Texas because I had it and it was so good. So I decided to put my own spin on it and add protein. So let me show you what you're going to need for protein chia pudding. So for the chia pudding itself, you'll need some jars. I'm just using these overnight oat jars. I actually got these from Timu, but any size mason jar or small container will work. You'll also need some sugar-free maple syrup. I'm using Fairlife milk in place of almond milk because there's way more protein. And then I'm using non fat plain Greek yogurt, of course, chia seeds, vanilla extract, and then protein powder of your choice. So I'm of course going to use Clean Simple Eat. This is my favorite protein powder for overnight oats, chia pudding. It blends beautifully. It tastes really, really good. So I'm going to make some of mine with the Simply Vanilla and some of mine with the cake batter. You can really use any flavor protein powder you want. You could even use the strawberry cheesecake. That would be really good with fruit topping the chia pudding. You could do the peaches and cream, the coconut cream. I mean, any of the Clean Simple Eats protein powders will work. I love it. You know, it's one of my favorite protein brands. I do have a discount. I'll link it down below for you. And then to top your chia pudding, you can really do whatever you want. But my plan is I'm going to use some granola 
any granola will work. I like to add berries, so I have raspberries and blackberries in my fridge. And then I like to add a healthy fat, whether that be a nut, like pecans, pumpkin seeds. I may even add peanut butter. It'll just kind of depend, but my plan is a carb source with the granola, a carb fiber source with berries, and then a fat with some type of nut or nut butter. So let's go ahead and put together protein chia pudding. So the first thing I'm going to do is add one and a quarter cups of Fairlife milk to my mason jar. And then I'm going to add in my pack of Clean Simple Eats protein. And then using my little frother, I'm going to mix that together until fully combined. Then we're going to add four tablespoons of chia seeds. Half a tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. So I made the executive decision to use my 32 ounce mason jars instead of the small ones. I still have to add in my Greek yogurt and my vanilla extract and this makes two servings. So what I'm going to do is mix up the two servings in the 32 ounce jar and then I'll pour it into the smaller jar for storage and for eating. So I am adding, like I said, everything to my 32 ounce mason jar. I'm going to add just a dash of vanilla extract and then lastly, one half of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt yogurt. Pop your lid on and then just give that a big shake till everything is combined and then we'll pour it into those smaller mason jars for serving. And as a reminder, this makes two servings. So I'm going to make four servings total. And then just equally pour the mixture into the small jars. So there are two servings of the chia pudding. I'm going to pop a lid on. We won't add any toppings until it is completely set. Give it one more shake. And I think with the next two, I'm just going to divide the recipe in half and put half in each jar. So you could do it either way. You can make it in one big jar, dump it into small jars, or you can half the recipe and do each small jar from the get-go. It'll really save you a dish as well. So there's two chia puddings. Let's put together two more. So for this one, I'm going to use the cake batter, Clean Simple Eats. I'm curious what the taste difference is with the vanilla and the cake batter. So I have one and a quarter cups milk. I'm just going to divide that equally into the two jars and then put half of the protein powder in each jar. And then again, with my handheld frother, mix it up really well. Two tablespoons of chia seeds in each jar. and about a quarter of a tablespoon of maple syrup, and then a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, a dash of vanilla extract, and then mix everything together. Pop on your lid and then give it a shake. So here are our protein chia puddings. These look so good. What I like to do is in about an hour to two hours, I give it another shake. That way those chia seeds don't settle on the bottom and they actually get a little bit more dispersed in the chia pudding. In fact, you can shake it as often as you want until it's setting. And then you wanna leave it alone so that it can set in place. But I like to shake it up, like I said, at least one more time to get everything mixed. And then as a reminder, these are the toppings that I'm going to be using. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen. Green, that will be for the chia pudding only because it will vary depending on what toppings and how much you choose but this is going to be the perfect protein packed breakfast for my lunches this week I'm making a chicken broccoli rice casserole this is such a high protein lunch with lots of veggies so I'm really excited for this let me show you what you'll need so you're going to need non-fat plain Greek yogurt Instant rice, you can do white rice or brown rice. I chose white because Troy's gonna eat this too and he's not the biggest fan of brown rice. You'll need chicken broth, beef broth. I have this bone broth in my fridge. I'm going to use that up. Some avocado or olive oil, all-purpose flour, fair life milk, Dijon mustard, fresh broccoli, garlic powder, salt and pepper, boneless, skinless chicken breast, chicken tenders, whatever you have, and then some light shredded cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is just get my broccoli washed and chopped. So I have a stock pot over high heat. I'm going to add my one and three quarter cup of broth and allow that to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, go ahead and add two cups of instant 
rice and we're going to allow that to cook down for about five minutes. While the broccoli is steaming, I'm going to heat up a teaspoon of oil in the bottom of a big stock pot or Dutch oven. And then we're going to add in our chicken and allow our chicken to cook through. To the chicken, I'm going to add pepper, salt, and garlic powder. So our chicken is just about done. A little pink in the center, which is completely fine. I'm actually going to transfer it to a plate and then once it cools, chop it up into chunks. And also my broccoli is steamed. The rice will continue to cook as it sits. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my stove, remove that chicken, and we'll get started on the rest of our casserole. Next for the casserole, I have half of a cup of milk. I'm going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and then mix that together with a fork, kind of creating a roux. Into that same big skillet, I'm adding the roux mixture and the other one and a half cups of Fairlife milk. We're going to stir this frequently, to allow it to cook and thicken. It's going to take about seven to 10 minutes. So I just took the flour mixture off of the stove. It is nice and thickened up. So I'm going to add in my one third cup non-fat Greek yogurt and then one full cup of light shredded cheese. Then I'm going to add in that rice and broccoli mixture. You can see the rice is cooked perfectly. It just kind of continued cooking while the broccoli was steaming. I'm going to give that a quick mix together. Lastly, add in my chopped up chicken. And then gently stir that in with the rice and broccoli. I almost forgot to add in the Dijon mustard. I'm going to do about three tablespoons of Dijon and then again, I'll give it one last quick stir and we'll get it into our baking dish. So into a baking dish, this is a round one. You can do nine by nine, really whatever size you want. Spray it with some non-stick cooking spray and then we're going to add the casserole mixture. Just spread that out nice and even in the bottom. And then I have one half a cup of light shredded cheddar. I'm using up what's in my fridge and we're just going to sprinkle that right on top. And then this goes into a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Then you're going to let it stand for 10. Look at this casserole. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this all week for lunch. I have a feeling Troy will be eating a lot of this casserole, but it does make six servings total. And like I said, it's packed with protein, introducing Greek yogurt into things, cottage cheese into things, really ups the protein and adds that creaminess. This is going to be incredible. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. You guys, I'm so excited for this dessert. I am making pineapple upside down mini protein cakes. I seriously cannot wait for these. I'm only making six and now I'm thinking I should make 12 because I know Troy's going to love these too, but we're gonna start with six. I can always make more later in the week, but let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need unsweetened applesauce, brown sugar substitute of your choice. This is Lakanto Golden, my all-time favorite brown, all-time favorite sugar substitute. I do have 15% off site-wide for Lakanto. They should be doing a Black Friday sale, so I'll link it down below for you. You'll need some pineapple rings, eggs, maraschino cherries, and protein. Now, I'm excited. You guys have been asking me if I still use Devotion. You guys know my love for Clean Simple Eats like I talked about earlier, but Devotion is second in favorites for protein powder. I will say that for baking, Devotion is hands down the best. There's so many amazing recipes you can do with the Devotion protein powder, and I do have a discount for Devotion as well. I'll link it down below for you. These are little individual packs of their angel food cake. Each little cake has a full scoop, which is what in this little packet. So that's 20 grams of protein right there, and not to mention the rest of the ingredients add to that protein count as well. So I recommend Devotion, especially for baking. Stay tuned, I'll be putting out a lot of videos using Devotion protein powder in cooking and baking. And they actually just released a little sampler pack. Here is the Devotion little sample pack that I was talking about. This is amazing. I actually ordered four of them because I wanted to try out all of the different flavors before investing in the full tub. And I was 
was pleasantly surprised that you actually receive a recipe card for all of the different flavors of protein. So in this bag are all of the flavors of protein devotion offer. So we have mocha java chip and there is a recipe for mocha java chip latte, brownie batter, which is their version of chocolate. And there's a recipe for two ingredient protein pudding, sinful cinnamon, one of my favorites for waffles. And there's a recipe for cinnamon pecan protein waffles, buttery blend. This makes the best dinner rolls, pizza crusts, breadsticks with protein. And there's a recipe for a savory garlic mini waffle. I might have to try that. And then angel food cake, which is what we use today. And there's banana protein pancakes. So you actually get recipes for all of the different flavors of protein powder. And then you're actually going to get two packets of every flavor. So two buttery blend, two sinful cinnamon, two angel food cake, two brownie batter, and two mocha java chip. Each one of these is one scoop, one serving. So it makes it really easy. And like I said, it's just a really good way to test out devotion, find your favorite flavors, and then order the big tub. That's what I do. I like to try out all the flavors, have these single serve packs for the office, for on the go. I have one of these in my car. And that way, if I need protein on the go, I can stop at a gas station and buy some milk, some Fair Life milk, mix it up on the go, and it's pre-portioned out, ready to go. So I am excited about this offering from devotion. Again, I do have a discount code for devotion. I'll link it down below for you, but definitely check out the sample pack and then you can use that discount code site-wide. So let's get started on this dessert. I'm going to be using my new bowls. I love these, you guys. I love them. Even Troy was like, Ooh, I like the color of those. I love that they have lids. It's just such a great bowl set. So definitely check them out on Amazon. I'm going to first crack six eggs into my bowl. And then I'm adding one and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce and six scoops, or in my case, six packets of Devotion Angel Food Cake protein powder. And then mix until fully combined. So I'm going to be using this fat muffin tin. These are a little bit bigger than standard size muffins. I think I bought this on Amazon. If I did, I'll link it down below for you. And the first thing we're going to do is in the bottom of each of the muffin cups, we're going to add one tablespoon of Lakanto Golden. And then I'm just going to shake the pan just to get that coated in the bottom. And then to that, we're going to add in one pineapple ring and just press that into the bottom of whatever pan you're using. You can even use a brownie pan. You can use mini loaf pans, whatever your preference is. I just have this one and I thought that this would make the perfect size little mini cake. Right into the middle of that pineapple, pop your maraschino cherry. You could probably use a fresh cherry too, whatever your preference is, but I feel like the maraschino Chino cherry is just quintessential of pineapple upside down cake. And then I'm going to use a big cookie scoop and just scoop your batter right on top until your batter is gone and all six of your cups are filled. And then again, just kind of tap it to get that nice and even. These are going into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until they're cooked through. The little pineapple upside down protein muffins cakes are out of the oven. I'm going to allow them to cool and then we'll pop them out and see what that brown sugar pineapple cherry bottom looks like. Look at how amazing these look. Oh my gosh, we've got pineapple and cherry and the perfect cake. These are absolutely adorable. I mean, they are so cute. You can tell that that brown sugar just soaked into the cake. I'm so excited for these. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about all of these high protein recipes. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps out my channel, pushes the content out on YouTube. So I really appreciate thumbs up, comments. It means a lot to me. And then of course, don't forget to stop by the description box for the, my recipe website, where you will find all of today's recipes, nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. I will We'll link the Luxier Bowls and Devotion down below for you, as well as Lakanto, everything I shared with you in today's video. And come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends, and I'll see you in the next one.